Shalom. Brother Kabad back now. GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing before I go any further. I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us truth according to the Bible and who will well. I know Shalom on the sincere Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. And I know Shalom on all your sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Not just hears of the word, but doers as well. You men, women, and children, hopefully, like the <clears throat> one. And we're going to go into uh, Proverbs 1, around the 20th verse, and, and the ch and probably in the chapter. All right. <clears throat> and Lord, one of this lesson is edifying. <clears throat> this is Proverbs 1 and 20. It says, Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets, and the wisdom is talking about is the wisdom of the Bible. That's where you're gonna get the true knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, as well as through these sit-down lessons. But this precept right here is talking about on the highways and byways. <clears throat> That's why you see us out there, start with I had apostles and elders, all right, a great millstone on down that's been prophesied and, and, and giving you this wisdom, crying out. For over 30 plus years, man. It says, verse 21, She cried from the chief place of concourse and the opening of the gates and the city she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, would you love simplicity? You understand? How long are you going to... Because, you know, the ones of our people, there's not in the know, they're in a simple uh, mindset. Okay. The simplicity that they love, their condition, their, their way of life, they love it here. When according to Micah 2 and 10, this is not our rest. It's not our rest. Verse 23, Slokia 22, it says, And the scorners delight in their scorning, and the fool and fools hate knowledge. How long? Well, we know that, you know, uh, the Lord is going to have these people in a state of confusion, a, a state of scorning and, and scoffing and being fools. All right, a fool is the one that's not a believer of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Psalms 1 and 14. The fool, I said, in his heart, there is no God. <coughs> They're a blockhead. They're a meatball. They're a jackass. Those are some of the synonyms of that word fool. They don't know a damn thing. All right. It says, verse 23. <clears throat> Turn you at my reproof. What's the what's the reproof? The scriptures. Isaiah 50 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show thy people their transgressions. And we do that through the Bible. Now, I, you shouldn't be committing adultery. We go into the scriptures and prove that. Just name an example. You shouldn't be worshiping, uh, celebrating Christmas. We're going to the scriptures to prove that. Right? It says, read on Proverbs 1 and 23. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Right? And the Lord does that through the prophets. Jeremiah 3 and 15 comes to mind. I shall give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge, wisdom, understanding, roughly paraphrasing. And you're going to see your teachers, as the scriptures say, that's in Isaiah as well. Okay. <clears throat> Verse 24, because I have called and ye have refused. And ye refuse. That's right. The Lord is calling right now. Calling what? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, to repent, to turn back. Luke 21. So you'll be count, count it worthy to escape the things that are coming upon the earth. The Lord said what? Proverbs 1 and 24. Because I have called and ye have refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regardeth. But ye have said not at, my, at all my counsel and with none of my reproof. Yet Jake didn't want it. Ain't nobody got time for that. How is it going to pay my bills? How is it going to do this? How is it going to get me out of the slump that I'm in? <clears throat> That's what Jake says. To the Lord, the Lord's calling. They calling me. <laughs> it says, and no man regarded, but yet, 
But ye have said not in all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So the Lord said he's going to mock when your fear cometh. And terrible times are coming upon the face of the earth. To a point where these people are going to be seeking Yahweh, they're not going to find him. The Lord said they shall seek me early and they're not going to find him. Because the doors of mercy are, are closing. Getting this word is it? Look, man, is it, <laughs> you better get it while they're getting this good. For that family to work kicking in your ass is grass. You, you know, you shunk. <laughs> like we used to say back in the day, you shunk, man. <clears throat> Proverbs 1 and 26 says, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh is a desolation. These are warnings, man. This 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 should uh, trigger in your head to to get right with the heavenly Father. Let me stop idol worshiping, right? Let me stop eating the bombo foods. Reading these scriptures should spark something in your spirit, man. Also, hearing these scriptures, but guess what? Hey, if, if the Lord didn't give you the faith mixed with it, you're finished, man. You're finished. <clears throat> it says, um, verse 27, when your fear comes a desolation and, and your destruction comes as a whirlwind, when the stress and, ang and, all, and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Catching hell, you lost your job. You're living out in the woods somewhere. All right, you don't have no food. You know, the Lord hit you with a pestilence. I mean, you name it, man. The Lord take a certain loved one from you. You name it, man. The Lord's not going to hear you. Because during the time of repenting, you were shucking and jiving. All right. Playing around. Doing any and everything but trying to seek the Lord. Partying, taking trips. Seeking careers. When the scriptures say those that try to save their life are going to lose it. That's in the book of Matthew. And those that lose their life are going to save it. Reading on Proverbs 1 and 28 says, Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Right. It says, For they, they hated knowledge. What's knowledge? The fear of the Lord. Let's go up to the. I like to do this all the time. Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear. When I bring. When I read these scriptures in this chapter, they jump back up. Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord. Being greatly terrified of someone or something like it causing pain. And who is that, Yahweh? Watch me, I was shy. One of our go-to scriptures, Deuteronomy 32 and 39, wraps it all up. Psalm 68 and 20 wraps it up. So the fear of the Lord is beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. They hate it, but it's going gonna, gonna to be a, 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 a consequence for hating the knowledge of Yahweh for not fearing your power. And his name is not God and Jesus. Once again, the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, all right, is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's the names in the ancient Hebrew, the Lashwan Kodash. And we believe that here on faith. You know, the hell what you mockers and scoffers think, man. The hell what you non believers. We read what 2nd Ezra 15 chapter said about you guys and you women. For all the unfaithful are going to die their unfaithfulness. And it starts with you believing in those names. <laughs> if you don't believe in the names of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, you're already through. <clears throat> with the you, you, yous. You, 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 Anyways, finishing it out. Proverbs 1 and 29. For that, they that for that they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. They were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Yet yeah, they despised the reproof of the Heavenly Father. They didn't want to get right. 
It says, therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices for the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of the fool shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safe safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil and evils are coming. They're coming, man. You don't believe me? Read second uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. <laughs> Read the second Ezra the 15th and 16th chapter. Ezra 13. I mean, uh, uh, the list goes on and on, man. There's something to consider Ezra on these latter days, man. Seeking your how about Shemiah Shai, because if not, he's going to laugh at your ass for not uh, 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 responding to this, this spiritual call. You got to call on uh, 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 those uh, idols that you uh, was worshiping and, and, and sacrificing to. All right. But how about Shimei Shah is going to be, they ain't going to be there for you. At least you repent and seek him now. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakadash, the Wands, our Apostle, Elders, Great Millstone, Shalom.